I don't know if Barney will swing so hard that his helmet comes off but we've had a couple of shots of him in the dugout and his hair is excellent today. Now your hair is always excellent. <laughs> My hair's long gone but Barney's really got it working today. It's going straight up. And he's flaunting. I lobbed it up there for you to take a ball yeah, shot I didn't at know me. Where and you to got go. nothing. It's like yeah. uh, he's got the spike <laughs> hair working, and I noticed it during batting practice. Yep. But I don't know that we're going to see him take his helmet off. I don't know that when the Blue Jays picked up Darwin Barney a couple of years ago, remember it was in September. It was after, you know, so he wasn't eligible to be on the playoff roster. I don't know that a lot of people could have forecast that he'd still be here a couple of years later. Turned into a, a pretty important pickup. Drives it well to center, but Ellsbury's got room, two down. Well, they picked up Barney because Tulowitzki had been hurt in New York, and I was there when he walked into John Gibbons' office that day. He was in AAA with the Dodgers, and they got him as insurance, and here he is still a big part of this team. You know, our, our director, Troy Claro, has got the same hair do I have. He's fascinated by this, and he's going to stick with Barney until that helmet comes off. There it is. He's got it working. There you go. Troy's as jealous as I am. It's flattened out a little bit with having the helmet and the hat on the last little while.